my mom's got a wonderful saying where we gave you roots, but we also gave you wings. There was one time I was helping to facilitate meetings going on between communities that really wanted to be more involved with their forest industry. And the, the fellow who was a trapper was telling me about the experiences that he had with the industry and, and going out to his trap line and finding his trap line had disappeared. He'd been going there for the past 50 years. If I could be that person who can represent communities in, in talking with governments and businesses and industry, then it's, it's one step closer to, to reconciliation, to building those positive relationships, to being the bridge between the two different sides. So I grew up on St. Joseph Island. It's about 45 minutes outside of Sault Ste. Marie basically in the middle of the bush. So we have a creek that runs through our yard, we have salmon that swim up to spawn in the fall. Uh, many, many years ago, my grandpa was chief of the community, Garden River First Nation. Growing up, we got to see my family being quite active in the community. So my aunt is a teacher, my other aunt is a manager for the trust fund. My, my family has been quite involved in forestry or natural resources, so we've always been outdoors hunting, fishing, camping. So it's been very much a passion of mine and inspired my studies. So the focus of my PhD research is looking at the feasibility of reducing or eliminating diesel use in remote communities in favor of other renewable energy sources, mainly forest biomass. I knew that I wanted to work with Aboriginal communities, especially in forestry. I found that to be the bridge between my education and my passion. So it was coming to Lakehead and recognizing that there are a number of communities in Ontario that are all powered off diesel energy, which is costly and polluting and, and troublesome. It felt like a really practical issue that I could tackle and something that really helped fuel the fire within me. The hardest part after graduation is finding a job. We never know what people's beliefs are towards all the stereotypes about Aboriginal people. You, you're always worried about what does that person think? Do I have to prove myself? My mom worked for the federal government and when she was hired, it was a diversity hire. However, she did really well with her job. When it came time to her kids getting jobs, it was very much emphasized that you get this on your own merit, not because of what you represent or who your parents are or what your relationships to other people are. So when you get the jobs, it's because you are the best person for the job. So we have here at Lakehead University the Coordinated Learning Access Network, or CLAN, which helps connect education with job experience for Aboriginal people in Northwestern Ontario and it really focuses on your skills, your education, especially as an employer looking at it, you would never know if it's male, female, Aboriginal, non-Aboriginal. I would like to be in a place where I can really impact the most amount of people with the work that I'm doing. So I always like to say that I would like to be the first Aboriginal Minister of Natural Resources and Forests. We haven't had one yet and it's at a higher level position in the government where you can start making policy decisions. Being the bridge between industries, governments, and communities that helps foster positive working relationships. between the aunt, my, my aunts and uncles, my grandparents, and the, the five grandkids that are now old enough to go to university. We have 42 college diplomas, university degrees, four masters. I'm raising my aunt now to be the first PhD. And when, I, when I'm mentoring these young Aboriginal students, it's, it's really a struggle for them to leave their community to go to school. Yes, it's important to, to, to learn your trees and your plants, to learn everything that you're learning in school. It's also important to remember what brought you to where you are today. 
So it's it's very important to keep your to keep your heritage, your identity of who you are. Uh, at the same time, education is a tool that you can use to really better your community.